Ferhat Arikan of Turkey still setting the high mark. And next up will be the young man from Mongolia we discussed earlier, Erdenbold Gunbud. His first vault, a high degree of difficulty of 6.6. What's interesting to know is that Arikan's second vault was really, well, a very, very powerful one. What can Gunbud do? Lots of rotation. Of course, it was the hop on the landing. During the tug, perhaps the legs were a little too far apart. Let's see what the judges believe. Here he gets a nice congratulation from his coach, sporting the traditional Mongolian hairstyle. Let's watch Gunbot's replay. Also goes in for the front hand spring. Well, a good amount of rotation. He just might score on difficulty. It's a execution probably where you lose out a bit for that hop. See how tight the tuck was. And you see there was a slight separation of the knees. But a fairly good job from Ganbat. Now, of course, the issue here is that since there's so much difficulty in the vault, even if he scores a little bit less on execution, it's still going to be a good mark for Ganbat. Second vault will be a degree of difficulty a little bit lower, 6.2, still high. 15.75. 15.75, difficulty of 6.6, .6, execution of 9.150. Achieves his difficulty, and of course, he will be happy with that vault. Now, what can he do for the second one? That was the highest mark yet uh, recorded in a vault. And his best so far? 6.2, as you mentioned, in the second vault. Let's see what he's got. Slight hop on the landing, nicely done. I believe he will get his difficulty if he does. And if he scores anything 15.5 or higher, Godbad will have himself a commanding lead and the benchmark to beat with four more athletes remaining in this apparatus. A good job from Godbad, really, really good job. Now talk about dark horses. We've seen a dark horse from Cuba. We've seen a dark horse from Italy. We've seen dark, two dark horses from Spain. Imagine if we saw a dark horse from Mongolia. Absolutely. That would really would be something here in the gymnastics tournament. And here is a very, very humble gymnast that we are looking at. Someone who's not really been treated to that much of exposure to the sport like a lot of the other competitors here from the Ukraine or from Russia. So it's very, very important for Gunbat and for the sport in its country. 15.575 in the second five, vault. 575, 15.662 is what he finishes with, which means that currently he goes up to number one. And so the results in the men's vault, Edinburgh Gunbot with the gold medal, 15.662. Ferhat Arikan of Turkey in second place with a 15.65. And in third place, the Spaniard Nestor Abad. So now let's get ready to welcome the athletes onto the medal podium. There they are, Nestor Abad of Spain marching first. He will be th in the third step of the podium. There's the young Edinburgh Gunbot of Mongolia. He'll be stepping up to the top step of the podium as a gold medalist. And that's a remarkable Cinderella story. Behind him, the young Ferhat Arakan of Turkey. Well, as he always put it, this is what competition is all about. And I think it's also a really uh, good example of what the Youth Olympic Games are all about. Unlike the Olympics, where the stars are very well established and have a long track record, even in a sport like gymnastics, where the athletes tend to be young, in the Youth Olympic Games, we're really finding brand new talent. Well, this is the president of the FIG, Professor Bruno Grandi, and the man, of course, in the suit that we did see earlier is the medal presenter, Mr. Tony Corey, who is a member of the IOC. Nesta Abad, the bronze medal winner, steps up. I do remember Mr. Corey is from Lebanon, member of the International Olympic Committee, presents Nesta Abad with the bronze medal. And the mascot will be presented by Professor Bruno Grandi, who is the president of the Federation Internacional de Gimnastico, the FIG. That is Nesta about doing his team, and doing his country proud, and he's excited about it. <laughs> Winning himself a silver medal, and he's excited about it. Farah Tarakan of Turkey. 
Well, totally deserving to remember. It's always a bundle of nerves when you're starting off the day's events, whether it's in entertainment, whether it's in stand-up comedy, or whether it's with really serious competition like this. And Ari Khan did well for himself. Pretty much nailed that silver medal or pinned it straight onto his chest by starting off in a really emphatic fashion and gave us a very good second vault. There's a happy young man. Now, of course, on the final step of the podium will be the young Erdogan Gunbot of Mongolia. This is the first gold medal in gymnastics, obviously, for the Mongolians, although the nation already has recorded a gold medal in girls wrestling earlier in the Youth Olympic uh, Games. The Mongolian delegation consisting of approximately a dozen athletes. So two gold medals for Mongolia. And what a show from the crowd. Well, this really goes to tell the story, doesn't it? Absolutely. Edinburgh Gunbot. This was Edinburgh Gunbot's last chance for a gold medal, and he pulled it off. And now let us stand for the Mongolian national anthem. And the crowd cheers on the young Erdenbol Gunbot of Mongolia. There's the Mongolian delegation recording the moment for posterity. And there we have three happy young men. Three happy young men who, as we mentioned a few minutes ago, all dark horses. And that is really a, an apt testament to the mission of these Youth Olympic Games, not just to 